Dave Rappaport from 7th Generation is here to give us some tips on ways we can cut down our oil and energy use when it comes to doing laundry. Well, you know, many people are surprised to learn that the biggest uh, point of energy use in laundry detergent is actually not making the laundry detergent, it's when people use the laundry detergent to wash their clothes. It's the hot water, it's the energy used in heating the water. So one of the biggest things that you can do to save energy when you're doing laundry is to use cold water. Another uh, uh, major source of energy use in, in doing laundry is actually drying clothes. Uh, dryers use, uh, some, by some estimates, 15 percent of the energy uh, used in a household. And so uh, just going back to using a clothesline or it, there's now high-tech laundry racks that you can use indoors that you can fit a load or, or multiple loads on in a small contained area. Just air drying them, letting them evaporate is, is, uh, is, is a great way to, to save energy. And by the way, you also save your clothes. You know, that lint that, 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 that is in the lint filter in your dryer, that's your clothes that are just kind of wearing down each time you, you dry them uh, and, and, and building up uh, on, on the lint filter. So your clothes will last longer, you'll be doing a great thing for the planet, uh, and uh, you know, uh, to the extent you're, you, you know, you got good weather and you can use an outdoor uh, clothesline, you know, it's wonderful to, to be outside, you know, doing a chore rather than inside, and, and uh, the, the way that clothes feel and smell fresh when they're, they're, they're line dried is really something you can't duplicate in a dryer in your house. So those are two of the ways that, that, that people can really save a lot of energy.